is your first time, welcome, welcome to Spice Isle Cafe. And guess what? What we're we doing today? <laughs> it's another fun recipe. We are going to make sherbet, not sorbet. We're going to do sherbet because we're using dairy. <laughs> and we're going to use dried sorrel. So all of you, my Caribbean brothers and sisters, I know you know what that is, but those of you who don't know, this is what it looks like dry. I'm sorry, I don't have the picture when it's, you know, fresh. <laughs> but we're using the dried sorrel. Some places call it hibiscus. Um, it's a plant that we grow and we use the, we remove the seeds and the little pod inside and we leave to dry or, you know, we boil it fresh. And we use it a lot around Christmas time, but hey, we're gonna have Christmas in October. <laughs> so these are some dried sorrel today. The beautiful thing about this recipe, if I remove these, you only need four ingredients, which you can do, okay? These here are just like aromatics to make it all nice and, oh, flavorful. But really and truly, for this recipe, you just need the sorrel and cream cheese. Well, I'm gonna say cream cheese. You see, I'm thinking about cream cheese, but not. <laughs> I have heavy cream. Again, sorrel, sugar, whole milk, and heavy cream. Basic four ingredients you need. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna boil the sorrel for about five minutes. We're gonna strain it out. And then we're gonna add all these beautiful fixings, put it in, some form of dish and put it in the freezer. Sounds good? All right, but you know I like to say, go get your auntie, grandma, friend, I don't know, significant other, whoever you, or your puppy, I mean a cat, whoever, and have them sit down so that you can enjoy this recipe, all right? I'm excited, are you? Tell me if you've tried sorrel sherbet before, if you've tried any kind of sherbet before, okay? I am gonna put about two cups of water. Listen, I already had, you know, some sorrel in here. I'm, um, I use one stick of cinnamon. I have a little, you know, piece of ginger root and two star anise, or aniseed as we say back home. So I'm just gonna put two cups of water in here, just about, because you don't really need a lot of water for this. Two cups of water or so. Boom. Beautiful. So, I already have spice and ginger in here in, in the pot, and I am gonna crack up the heat. Boom. Done, done, and done. <laughs> So, oh, let me jump over here. So I'm just gonna stir this and let it boil. I'll, you know, bring it up to a boil. Probably will take about five minutes or so. And then I am gonna strain it out and add the aromatics. So tell me, have you tried sherbet before? Comment on the live, let's hear what you've done. If you will try it, <laughs> just let me know what's happening and um, I'll be happy to answer all your questions or you know, just add to your comments, <laughs> whichever. So we are making sorrel sherbet. Oh no, why sorrel of all things? Because there are so many fruits and beautiful plants and everything out there. I wanted to do something different. Um, it's easy, the last couple of lives I have been doing um, chutney and using apples and, and you know, the same ginger root. So, and I think I did something else with mango and whatnot. So, hey, we have to change it up and sorrel is something that we have on the island quite often, especially close to Christmas time. So I had some dried ones in my pantry. I'm like, hmm, what shall I do? <laughs> I decided to do that today. So, um, so this is gonna boil away probably for five minutes, as I said, 
Uh, this is gonna go by quickly, y'all. Quickly. Come, 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 tell me all of your Sherbert adventures. <laughs> have you tried them before? What you've tried them with? And um, have you tried sorrel Sherbert before? Let me know. Questions, so, Thomas? Someone said, someone called Homework said, yeah, I'm learning. So I'm not sure the context, but yeah. Oh, yeah, well, again, I am learning to listen. I'm not an expert on Sherbert, okay? <laughs> if you say snow ice or ice pop or whatever, yeah, I'm an expert on that. But we are learning together, all right? Um, so just give it a try if you have sorrel in your house or you can order it online or if you find a specialty store or Caribbean um, or Hispanic store, definitely you should find some sorrel that you can use to boil and make a drink or in this case make sherbet now for those of you who are like well what is sherbet <laughs> what that is it's really like um i like to call it a fruity delight with dairy now if you remove the dairy and you just boil the sorrel and probably put a little bit of acid kind of like lemons or something and then you add your sugar and your other flavorings you have sherbet you have sorbet <laughs> but anytime you add dairy you have sherbet i hope i didn't confuse you <laughs> so i had dairy in the fridge i'm like well let's use it so this is gonna boil away once it boils then we're gonna strain this baby out kind of leave it to cool a little bit Add all these beautiful condiments and then put it in the refrigerator so it can do its thing. Let me know about your sorrel adventures. <laughs> oh, wanting to note when you are putting in the ginger, listen, normally we would, if I'm making something else, I'll peel the ginger and cut it up and all of that. You don't have to, you can just. You know, once you can get the, the scent of the ginger in and the flavor, you can just, you know, do a, a quick chop on it and put it in there. No fancy smancies to that. <laughs> We're keeping it simple here. Because I know everyone is busy and they just have a little time. You come in, say hi, and you're ready to go. <laughs> and that's okay. So, we're making sorrel sherbet. And that is with, with um, dairy. If you are not using dairy, then you're probably making sorbet. <laughs> so let's see how this beauty turns out here because I am excited. Once it comes to a boil, I'll turn off the heat and strain and all that goodness. So tell me in the live, have you tried sherbet before? And have you tried sorrel sherbet before? Or just what are the um, sherbets you've tr tried before so that we can learn from each other? All right, I think it's, it's bubbling up for the most part here. One more minute, I think, and then it's time to strain. Excited. Okay. We're quiet today. I know. What's happening? <laughs> Tell me what's happening. It's a beautiful day here. The sun is out. I'm feeling something refreshing, and um, I decided, why not? Let's try some sherbet. Anything? Anyone saying anything? No comments? You didn't go get your auntie yet? Uh, Connie said hello. Hi, hello Connie. People. Hi, everybody. <laughs> but yeah, go get your friend, your spouse, your significant other, call up with your puppy, wh whoever. Just come on in. <laughs> and let's see how this all turns out. Now it's time to turn. I hear the boy. Listen, this doesn't take long at all. Five minutes, boom. Now, this is hot, so be very careful. I'm gonna 
take a towel so I don't burn myself or anything. <laughs> I'm gonna try to strain this. Ooh, okay, let me turn it this way so you can possibly see. <laughs> so all I'm doing is just straining this and that's it. It's done. So I'm just gonna set this aside. Ooh. This is hot, y'all. But since it's hot, I'm gonna sweeten it now and just leave it to cool just for a little bit before I add the cream and stuff so it don't curdle. <laughs> So, I have about mm, two thirds of a cup of sugar. So I'm just gonna sweeten that baby. If you just came in the room and you wanna know, well, what is Carol doing today? What is Spice Out Cafe up to? Now, we are making some sorrel sherbet. And we, we said sherbet because we are using dairy today. Okay, I just made or boiled the sorrel for five minutes. I used dried sorrel like this and I boiled it with like a stick of cinnamon and ginger with a little bit of um, star anise or aniseed as we say. <laughs> And um, I boiled it for like five minutes and then I just removed and put the sugar in to sweeten it. Now whatever you use to sweeten, some people prefer honey, honey or you know, your other sweetness. Sometimes based on what you're using, you might have to put more or less, so just be mindful of that. I'm stirring so that this don't, all the sugar don't stay in the bottom or anything. <laughs> Oh, my lovely people. Okay, so with this, I have to say, when you, when we get ready to pour it out, you know, to the, where it's going to freeze, if you have a, what do you call that? Uh... I'm gonna say an iron pan, but some form of metal pan, it will help things freeze faster. But I have this little wobbly, <laughs> I have a silicone little mold thing. It's not little, this one is not little. This is like if I was gonna bake a banana bread or so. So I have this that I'm gonna rinse out and then I am going to, it's new, I, I have, um, been testing out with silicone kind of baking. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, I've been testing out both with freezing and baking in this. So I, um, that's a beautiful thing about using silicone um, tools. I'm just gonna give this a quick rinse out, um, dry it, and then um, add my other Beauty, you would see that this rich, dark, red color is going to turn almost pinkish, <laughs> pinkish purple, whatever. And um, then we're going to put it in the, in the fridge. So yeah, let me just rinse this baby up. Yes, I, okay. Nice and, you know these days you have to rinse out everything. <laughs> Not just these days, but it's good to have, um, to make sure that you rinse and you wash everything. So, I'm going to be using this, again, if you have a metal pan of sorts, it will help, you know, with the freezing, the fast, I don't know. Listen, I'm not a science person. <laughs> I just love the kitchen. And I know what works best in certain, with certain tools. So, again, I don't have a metal pan, so I'm using my silicone, you know. I don't, I can't call it silicone pan. It's just a, 
a silicone mold, if you will. <laughs> so, are you ready for the fun stuff? I'm gonna mix this goodness in here, stir this baby up, and I am going to put it in, in this mold, put it in the fridge, and we're gonna get to some excitement. Are you ready? Listen, this is something you can have your kids help you with in the kitchen, or just, it can be a good date night kind of a thing for you guys to do, and then, hey, you have sherbet afterwards with a movie. Hey, look at how I'm just dropping jewels all over the place. All right, so remember I have heavy cream. For those of you, um, I have heavy cream and whole milk. Now, you may not have whole milk. You can use evaporated, you can, but you need to mix it with some something heavy. So if you use something light, mix it with something heavy. <laughs> Woo, as I said, look at the color change, y'all. Look at the color changing in here. Yes. Can you see? Can you see? I hope you can. It's changing to this light pink purplish goodness. <laughs> so all I'm going to do, since I mix this baby up, right here, make sure I give it a taste. You always need to taste because sometimes you need a little bit more sweetness. You need some love. I don't know, something in here. So I'm going to give this a little taste. That's right, not too sweet. It's just oh, beautiful. So I'm gonna pour it in here now. Ooh, yes, my lovely people. And then you ask, well, what do I do now? <laughs> you put this in the refrigerator for about four hours. <laughs> Whoa, that's a long time. But, you know, the magic of TV, I, I did one earlier. So let's just hope it sets, you know, right. If not, we're gonna have fun together. So this is the one I did earlier. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator now. Okay. For the fun stuff. <laughs> Look at this, my lovely people. So I have this, I know it doesn't look as pretty yet, but I'm gonna get some stuff and we're gonna try to work on some lovely plating. Now this is, this, this is not the finished product. <laughs> I'm gonna plate here and we're gonna have fun together. Let's see. Okay, I have a few stuff in here so I had some graham crackers I'm gonna put down a little graham cracker with another spoon <laughs> so again if you're just joining in what are we doing um, we are doing sherbet and I am actually doing sorrel sherbet. Okay, so I'm, listen, I'm just trying to be fancy, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to be fancy, y'all. So don't laugh at Carol. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I see this on TV, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try to see if it will come together somewhat so it still needs a little time, still needs a little time, but the magic of TV. Let's see if I can get this all nice and, or try to at least. Hopefully it will stay. I'm just using a two spoon method, but okay, not too bad. Let's see if I can get a next one. <laughs> so 
So this need a little time to, I think, set a little bit still, but nonetheless, we are gonna try to make this happen. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna put it back in the fridge real quick. Freezer rather, not just the fridge. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to mention that you need to have plastic wrap over, so in a while I'm gonna like put back some plastic wrap. I'm just trying some plating y'all, listen. This is, this is, this is rustic styling here. <laughs> so don't, um, don't knock Carol. Please do not knock Carol. I'm trying to make things look pretty. I know, I know, you guys are quiet in the room, but that's okay. I'm trying. So this came from my garden and I am really proud of it. So we have, what do you think honey? What do y'all think? Tell me what you think. Is, is this good to go? Someone? I think so. We're going to keep it simple or try to keep it simple. <laughs> All right, so this is my finished product. <laughs> I tried to do a fancy plating for you. My um, sherbet still needs to set just a tad bit, but again, you need four to six hours to get it nice and firm and if you have um, if you have one of those uh, ice cream churner that is perfect now I didn't have that so I am using you know my mold and my hands and you can go in there every couple of hours you know if you're not asleep <laughs> and kind of mix it a bit so it doesn't just you know become frozen or whatever but yeah I think um, I tried, <laughs> as I said, this is a learning process. Um, I hope that you all give this a try um, once this turns out a little bit more pretty. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> I think we did it, y'all. So I am happy that you spent a little time with me today. I made some sorrel sherbet and um, I am going to devour this beautiful plating here or my husband will, one of us, <laughs> will certainly do so. Until next time, my lovely people, if there is no questions, comments, let me know before I head out. Connie, they were saying, looks good. I've never had this, but I would try this. Oh, that's beautiful. I am hoping that the rest of you will certainly do so. Until next time, one of my people, Make sure and like, subscribe, and share.